Well, good afternoon. Uh, welcome back to the, the channel. Uh, it's been a bit of a uh, bad run over the summer for uh, the family here. So uh, it's taken me a little bit of time to get back in and get back uh, into uh, some of the stuff here. So hopefully you'll forgive the uh, delay and we can get on to uh, uh, the videos on the channel. I've got a bunch of gear that uh, is all backed up here and I want to go through it, uh, do the repairs that it's supposed to, and then uh, get into things. Anyway, where we left uh, these guys, uh, this is a, uh, the HP uh, uh, 9121, and uh, this is a two, two single-sided uh, double density uh, floppies. And uh, when we got them and we looked at them, they were completely gummed up. And so what I needed to do was to actually go in and clean these out, and so I grabbed uh, you know, some spray can uh, IPA and uh, started spraying them in. Now, what I wanted to sort of show you, I'll show you two images here. Uh, the first image that you're actually seeing is the uh, image of uh, uh, after the first sort of spraying, you can see what the IPA uh, looked like as it was uh, coming in and I was working it back and forwards and, uh, and so on to clean out uh, the lubricant and basically what happens is the lubricant uh, seizes up it dries out and it becomes an impediment to the operation of the drive well that uh, was the first bit but here you can now see the second uh, uh, image now this is uh, uh, after I got uh, everything sort of cleaned up and if you look at the color of that uh, that IPA you can just see all of the lubricant that's come out of this and ignore the uh, the little pieces of uh, foam uh, they came out of uh, some packing that I had, but um, um, basically uh, that's taken all the lubricant off it. So with that, we have the uh, uh, clean drives now. And so here you can see the, the clean drives. So what we want to do is turn them on and uh, test them out. Now to test them out, what I have is, uh, as you would have seen earlier in the, uh, the playlist, I have my uh, Dolch Pack uh, 65 with... Uh, uh, the Viper card installed. Now while we wait for that to all uh, power up, you would have noticed the uh, little red light here flash five times. That tells us that the device has passed through its self-test. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick drink. Uh, it's after Labor Day and uh, uh, that here in uh, Seattle. So I'm going to uh, uh, you know, cheer that. The drink of choice today is uh, actually a vodka with uh, uh, some mango flavored uh, uh, soda water. A little bit, uh, I don't know if that's technically a spritzer or not, but uh, it's nice and refreshing. It was 85 degrees Fahrenheit uh, for those of you that still work in the Imperial measurement system uh, here today. Anyway, now that we have uh, these drives on, these are drive zero and drive uh, one. So let's uh, go and format a disc. We'll take this disc, we'll drop it in here, and you can see that it clicked in much more and you would have noticed uh, uh, if you're looking at it that the little red light came on. So now on my Viper machine I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna type initialize and I'm gonna tell it that uh, the ID of this is uh, gonna be seven and the unit number I want drive zero and I'm just gonna say use the default interleave that comes out of this. You can configure these uh, all the way you want let's click on that and uh, now I press uh, continue and if you look in here you'll see that the head is moving in fact uh, if we take a look from another angle you would see the uh, uh, head basically you might be able to catch it in there moving uh, through so this is a good sign because previously these heads didn't move at all and so now it will go back and forwards formatting the tracks uh, correctly. Now, uh, I believe this process will take a bit of time as uh, it does it, so we'll jump forward uh, hopefully to how it's completed. Okay, and now the uh, uh, drive is completed formatting. Uh, that took a while. It's been a while since I formatted a floppy drive, um, a floppy disk, so I don't know if you know, this is just slow because it is. Uh, these drives run at uh, twice the RPM of a normal PC drive. So they run at uh, 600 RPM uh, there. But let's take a look and see if 
it didn't give any error messages, but let's see if uh, we actually got a uh, disk as well. And there we go. We have the, the disk uh, come in and uh, uh, it's actually uh, formatted. Let's uh, do a quick look at, uh, what do I want? I want um, slash BLP slash examples colon DOS comma C. Now that should uh, look at my hard drive. All right, there we go. So let's just uh, copy a program over or we'll copy symbol. So we can go copy slash BLP slash example slash symbol colon DOS comma C to comma 700 comma zero. Oh, clearly I have given it an improper file name. Oh, yes, of course, because I didn't uh, tell it what the file name is that's on uh, the disk there. So let's do that again. And the copy is completed, so if we do a cat again. There we go, our file has been copied over. Let's try the other drive. Okay, so now I want to do initialize again. Actually, we know it's already initialized. Let's just see if we can actually read off it. Well, it is reading the disk. So let's try and initialize it now. And you'll notice I use the one here because that's going to uh, tell us to use uh, drive one. Okay, well, the initialization failed. Now, the uh, one of the bits of data that I got from reading it, uh, reading about these drives, is that uh, they might have a little bit of gunk on the head of the drive. So let's uh, take that out and uh, we'll see about um, cleaning the, the drive head. Okay, if we look in here, that's where you'll see the drive head is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my uh, Craig Labs or Craig Labs uh, cleaners with just a little bit of IP. I'm going to take one of my uh, Craig Labs cleaners with just a little bit of IPA, and then I'll get into it and give it a scrub, and then we'll uh, plug it uh, uh, back in and see how it goes. Okay. So we have it all plugged back together. I gave it a good scrub. Let's uh, hmm. I wonder if there's still gunk on that. Let's uh, go back to the Viper card and we'll try and initialize. Well. Look at that. I think that may have uh, done the business. And there we go. So let's do a copy and we'll do the same file again. There we go. So it looks like uh, both drives are now back and working and being uh, cleaned out. Um, this one still had a little bit of noise in it.
But uh, I think overall, uh, I might give it another bit of a spray with uh, some IPA to, to get it out. But uh, I now have a working uh, uh, 9121 uh, drive with uh, the single-sided uh, uh, double density city disc. In uh, the next part, we'll uh, go look at the double-sided double density, the big boys, and uh, see how they work, uh, and if uh, the same cleaning uh, fix them. Anyway, hope you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and uh, I'll catch you in the comments. Catch you later.